Hello and welcome to Hockey Talkie. This video is just a recap of the World Championships. Blackhawks had a number of players competing in the tournament and a number of players who played very well in the tournament. So I wanted to kind of recap how they all did. But first and foremost, I do want to give a little bit of pat on the back to myself for picking Finland to win gold in this tournament. Here is your proof. I think I'm going to take Finland winning the gold. Now, to be fair, I also picked Germany to win the silver medal and the USA to win the bronze. Neither of those two teams medaled in the tournament, but I'm going to tell you something. That doesn't really matter for one simple reason. Ricky, tell them. If you ain't first, you're last. That's right. Finland wins gold and nothing else matters. So let's start with them. Finland having two players in the Blackhawks system, Henry Yoki Haru and Kevin Lankinen. And really, if we want to be fun with this, their 34-year-old captain, Marco Antilla, was drafted in the ninth round of the 2004 entry-level draft by, you guessed it, the Chicago Blackhawks. Henry Yokiharu had a bit more of a subdued tournament in this one. Uh, not saying he played bad by any stretch of the imagination, but you know you didn't really hear his name uh, mentioned a whole lot. Three points in ten games. Uh, one of them being the primary assist on the lone goal that beat Russia in the semifinals. But other than that, you didn't really hear his name a whole lot. He didn't make a whole lot of you know great plays, but he also wasn't really making you know all that many mistakes either. It's just a subdued tournament. Uh, which is fine. Uh, he is one of the lone players to win both the Juniors World Championships and the Senior World Championships in the same year. He has done that with Finland. Uh, this has turned out to be a really good year for the kid. On the other hand, you have Kevin Lankinen, who basically made his name known in this tournament, had an outstanding tournament, 942 save percentage, 12 goals allowed in eight games, two shutouts, one against Russia in the semifinals, including a nasty glove save against Alex Ovechkin. I mean, uh, you can't really say a whole lot more about this kid in this tournament. He was phenomenal, and he's going to be very interesting to watch him and Delia in training camp coming up to see uh, who just might be the backup for the Hawks next season. Patrick Kane and Dominic Kubalik, each with 12 points in this tournament, leading Blackhawks players. This was a great first chance to check out Dominic Kubalik and his game, what he seems to offer after we acquired him from the Los Angeles Kings back in early spring. And I got to tell you, I am excited for this kid. Holy crap, does he have a shot. Uh, six goals, six assists for him through 10 games. Patrick Kane, two goals, 10 assists through eight games. Uh, those two were phenomenal in this tournament. Alex DeBrincat with nine points as well for Team USA. And you move down the list, you see some other good performances. Artem Anisimov and Andreas Martinson each with six points in the tournament. Anisimov also with a plus 11 rating. And I know plus minus isn't really a great stat. Take it with a grain of salt. But when you have a high enough number, like plus 11 in this tournament... That still means good things, generally. Now, he was playing on a stacked Russian team in a pretty weak Division B in the round robin. There was definitely some lopsided scores, so that helped. But still, he had a good tournament. Andres Martinson, 16 penalty minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right for him. Dominic Cahoon and Dylan Strom, each with five points. And then you have Eric Gustafson and Philip Kurashev with four points. I thought Philip Kurashev had a pretty darn good tournament considering how young he is and the prospect that he has. He looks like he has a fantastic shot. It's going to be exciting to see him in a Rockford Ice Hogs uniform next season and see how he does there. Definitely a good showing, at least in my mind, for him in this tournament. And then you have Marcus Kruger with three points. And then at the very, very bottom, you have a subpar uh, tournament from Matthias Fromm, uh, who had zero points in four games, minus two rating. But in general, overall, the Blackhawks players and prospects had a very, very good showing in this tournament and won a good amount of hardware. So I hope you guys got the chance to kind of tune in and see some of how these young guys did and how they play and kind of get a little bit more familiar with them, especially since a number of them kind of played over in Europe and there's not really, you know, a whole lot of good ways to watch them over here. 
I hope you got to see them. This was a good tournament to kind of check them out and you know get a first eyes on them. Now, obviously, this is international ice; it's larger ice, so you didn't really get to see them in board battles or in the corners all that much, or as comparable as it would be in the NHL or North American ice. But it's still a good way to kind of see these players. I hope you had the chance to do so. Uh, if you didn't check out highlights, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts on these guys down in the comment section below. Love to hear it. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as always. But most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time.